All right. Now, to maximize this, clearly this, this doesn't look right. Uh, it's quite wonky. So let's fix that. Let's go to uh, do some UV mapping on this block. So go up here, make sure your polygons menu is selected here. This needs to be set to polygons. Go up here to... Um, actually, let's go ahead and do this first. No, no, let's go up here. Uh, create UVs. Automatic mapping. And the default should be okay, so just click automatic mapping. All right. Now, click on this. This opens up the UV texture editor. Or you can find it here under Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor. I'll just click on this. It might take a second. Darshi blows. There's the UV Texture Editor. Now, with let me go out here, select the block. Sure enough, our block shows up out here. And um, we're ready to roll. Now, when I hit Automatic Mapping, I realize nothing happened because I don't think I had the block selected. So, shame on me. So make sure the block is selected, and go up here to Create UVs Automatic Mapping. There we go. So you should get this Tron-looking thing happening, which didn't happen. That should have been my clue. And uh, what it does, if we go in here, in the texture editor, you can see this, uh, is that it splits the UVs off. It makes them proportionally the same, and it, it does a projection onto each of these sides, uh, based on what's the best projection, does a planar projection. And this is also a good time to show you a very handy button here. It's this one here. Looks like a little face, and that turns the uh, background on and off. You know, one thing I'm going to do, it's really hard to see this here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Window, Settings, Preferences, Color Settings and 3D views, and I'm going to drop this background color to make it darker so you can see the uh, what, what's going on in the UV texture editor a little bit better. Alright, so we've got these new UV sets here which are set proportionally to what we've got out here. So the problem, if I turn this back on, and that you can see, is that, um, actually that looks not too bad. You know, it kind of moved this around and set this up. But what it did, let me go ahead, uh, get my object mode back for a second, just check what we've got here. All right. um, but you can see like how this side is basically getting the concrete here. So you can see how this is still kind of whacked out, and this only has part of the front of the building. Um, so what we're going to do is go to face mode, F11, uh, select the front face, go back here over here to the UV texture editor, turn off the picture, and you can see it's selected this. It's telling us this is your front face out here. And uh, we're going to right click on that and go down here to select and we're going to say convert selection to UVs. So it's going to take that face selection and convert it to the UVs. And then I'm going to go over here to the Maya menu, edit, <coughs> invert selection. So it takes everything but that. Uh, out here, hit W for the move tool and just move this stuff out of the way, out of that quadrant. It doesn't matter where you move it for right now. So we've just got this, this will make it easier for us to see. Okay, I'm going to turn the picture back on and I think I'll turn the grid off there. And I do apologize, this is hard to see here, but um, well, just by turning the picture on and off, you can see how my UV face, my front face, is not big enough. It doesn't fit. What I want is for that to fit onto this whole part of the texture map here. And sure enough, when you look out here, we're not getting the full building, and we're only getting that much of the building. So, how do we do that? Well, we could just select all these UVs. Oops, didn't like that. 
right click, make sure we've got UV selected here. Go down here, now click and drag, select all those UVs. Hold down R, or hit R, don't hold it down, for scale, and just scale this up. W for move. R for scale. W for move. Getting pretty close there. Not bad. All right, and if I go back out here, now you can see we've, we're getting just about the whole building there. And I'm going to go ahead and just cheat this. I'm going to just go grab these UVs and just pull them out to the side. Go over here, pull these out to the side. Good. Now, go out here, and we should have a pretty decent looking front to the building. The sides are still a wreck, and the top is, but we're going to go ahead and fix that in just a second.